Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Back to the Future of the Game. Marty has finally found Citizen Brown, locked behind the gates in the fortress-like courthouse. Problem is, he can't get in without an appointment or some other clever means. Marty also ran into Biff, now eerily passive and polite due to the Citizen Plus program he's enrolled in. Biff described how he short-tracked his meeting with Citizen Brown. He broke rules and lots of them. Jennifer, done with her community service for vandalism, has set up shop in the alley working on her next masterpiece. Marty, barely able to get the time of day from her, left her alone to simmer. Shortly after emerging back onto the streets, he was nearly run over by his mother in the McFly family golf cart. Lorraine McFly, seeming a bit tipsy, was in a rush to get to her civic duties and left Marty with the keys to the cart and a message for his father, George. So let's go ahead and deliver that message. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting footage? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Sutmo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I, wonder why. I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? Holy That's cow. a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Yeah. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. Regime? A citizen Brown by his beloved courthouse. He's struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. It sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? That's a good Maybe question. Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Hmm. It's about Mom. 
How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for what? some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Gee, I wonder why? She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You, you're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. That's about right. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. Okay, um... Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. I don't need to say anything here, do I? I don't think so. Hmm. Something on your mind? It's about me. I'm all ears. Well, I... Uh... From certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... Stop. I really don't want to hear anymore. That didn't help. I'm proud of you, son. That may be one of the most damning things we've heard yet. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that mathematic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Well, that's a relief. We at least won't run into our, our, uh, timeline selves. Okay, different subject. Yeah. So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. <laughs> it's still spying. You're supposed to be, I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. What? Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. It took this long for someone to call something subversive. I'm impressed. Okay, different subject. Yeah? It's about someone we both know. Yes? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Okay. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? 
Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Okay. David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. I can think of many reasons. Hmm. Something on your mind? Okay. Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, oh, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Not as stupid as we hoped, huh? If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Hmm. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Ha ha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog hey, to you? Sign. Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. Huh. Did you ever harbor a... Okay, that should be the same as... Yeah, it's the same. Hmm. Something on your mind? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son. But while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house dust because of mites. dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Dust mites. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. The dust mites? Seriously? So, uh, when is this dust mite problem going to be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. You know, it, if it takes that for you to realize that we're in a nightmare state here... How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. Snoopy. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> okay, I think that, yeah, that should be everything we can look at in here. Gotta love the... Let's see, we've had Tron, Weird Science, Full Metal Jacket, Star Wars. Okay. Well, I guess we need to go check back up on Mom, don't we? Yeah. However... I do believe it is time to cut the video, so when we return, we'll have another talk with m his mom about maybe she's tipping the bottle just a little bit. We'll see. So anyway, until then, take care folks, see you later.